Hello, it's your friend Phil, project management trainer and coach. Another video about the PMBOK Guide Seventh Edition: the impact of this book on the current exam. I'm hearing a lot of rumors from the rumor mill on social media. People thinking that the Seventh Edition is going to have an impact on the current exam. People thinking that they should actually open the Seventh Edition. Hey, don't do it. Don't be ridiculous. Don't do it. Put it down. Whoever is asking you to read the Pembroke Guide 7th edition for the exam in 2021, they're not your friend. The reason is the PMI have themselves said that this release will have no impact on the current exam. They have already made it clear that the exam changed in January and is not due to change for a while to come. They also made it clear that the typical PMP exam refresh happens year round with different questions put into the pipeline. So it's nothing different from the usual. Please do not open this book called the Pembok Guide Seventh Edition if you are taking the exam in 2021. All right. Stand by for more information about 2022 from PMI. But for now, don't do it. I want to make it extremely clear. If you are reading the Pembroke Guide 7th edition, thinking that you're missing out by not reading it and you want to get all the points possible, you are only taking your efforts down to the basement in a bad way. Taking it down to level zero. Don't do it. I'm talking from experience because I thought the current edition that was out when I was taking the exam was the best thing to read. I should have been reading the second edition, but I made the mistake of reading the third edition. Messed me up big time. Took a lot of repair. I had to read the Pembok Guide second edition twice just to get that third edition junk scrubbed out of my head. Now, under normal circumstances, when the exam is based on an edition, you don't look at it as junk. But when you're trying to focus on the right stuff, the appropriate stuff, and someone brings along an edition that has zero correlation with the, let's be honest, Agile Practice Guide, PMP Exam Content Outline, and other publications, it's just horrible. So if you know what success is, right? Doing the right things for your success on this exam. I can tell you one of them is not reading an edition that has no correlation with the exam. Please don't do it. You're not setting yourself up for success. You're doing the opposite, okay? I would appreciate it if you could share this message with all your friends taking the exam in 2021. Tell them not to do it. Opening up the Pembroke Guide 7th edition will not get you any more marks. In fact, you know what? Let's do a comparison. Pembroke Guide 7th edition versus Agile Practice Guide. Who will get more marks on the test or who will do better? The person that solely focuses on the 7th edition or the person who solely focuses on the Agile Practice Guide? You already know the answer to that one. So if, if you don't know the answer, Go ask people who've taken the exam. It's the Agile Practice Guide that will give you a ton of value, okay? I had to release yet another video. In fact, you know what? I'm probably going to be releasing a video every day at this rate just to drum it into some students' heads that they should not, emphatically not, be reading this edition of the Pembroke Guide. Don't get yourself messed up. Don't get yourself confused. The seventh edition is a strange animal. It has principles that have nothing to do with what is in the PMP exam content outline. It also has domains that have zero correlation with the domains in the PMP exam content outline. If you do so, you do so at your own risk. Enough said. I've done my best. You take care and bye for now.